Out here for a minute. I'm kind of busy right now, fat dog. It's just that I got something stuck to the roof of my mouth. All right, open up. <laughs> hey, it's your trumpet. How about another lesson, kid? Uh, no thanks. Come on, you never practice. You know I bought this present for your last birthday. Yeah, but you bought it with my money. And besides, I don't have time for trump lessons right now. What do you mean, no time? Since when? Since I started work on my tree house of solitude. Tree house of solitude, huh? Yeah, I found the perfect spot for it. But it got kind of lonely up there. So I thought I'd get back to work on my squad patrol's basement of justice. Ooh, really? So how's that going? Well, it could be better. But I'm really excited about my new mobile crime lab. I was just gonna go to Larry's Science Emporium, but it's just so far away. I don't know. What I really need is a good project. Uh -huh. You know what you really need? You need a vacation. Get away from your hectic schedule. Do you really think so? Of course I do. That's why I said it. Come on, kid. There's so much of Neighborhood X to explore. And adventuring is just as exciting as fighting crime. Crime? Why didn't you say so? This adventure business sounds kind of interesting. When do we start? Well, I've got my trusty adventurer's pamphlet. You got everything? Compass, binoculars, dental floss. Do I really need all this stuff? Trust me, dental hygiene's important to a good explorer. You take care of your gums, they take care of you. Yeah, but what about all that? You know what us adventurers say. Semper paratus. Meaning? I don't know. My Latin stinks. Something like always parachute, I think. Oh, no. It's Piranha me. Let's go back. She'll see us. Okay. Hey, Piranha May, we're going exploring and adventuring and stuff like that. Want to come? Sure. Sounds like fun. Why do I even bother? Today, we embark on the greatest expedition Neighborhood X has ever known. We'll be the first to cross the dangerous Okoponoko Swamp. Now, we have two choices. We can go down Main, across Elm, right on St. Magoo, through Very Little Italy, left on Bramble, north on Route 7, west on Highway 93, and then into the dangerous swamp, or we could take the shortcut. You mean through Polyester's backyard? You said it. Now that would be dangerous. Count me in. Sounds like fun. Hold up. Nobody move. Oh my goodness! Oh, I hope you children weren't hurt. No, Miss Polly. Hmm. Told you the trap wasn't big enough. Now, Esther, you see, we've been trying to catch this pesky squirrel which has been digging up the tulip bulbs. Too bad you went a little closer. I was hoping to test the tensile strength capacity of the thing. 
Oh, well, you can't win them all. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll be going now. Uh, do, do you mind if we just, you know... Uh... Oh, well, if just this once, dear. Oh, and try not to make a habit of it. You see, Esther is very particular about strangers in the backyard. Oh, I heard that. I'm right here for crying out loud. Now, Esther? I'm always right here, and you always talk about me like I'm not. <laughs> uh, don't worry, we'll be out of your way in just a sec. Please don't raise your voice to me, <laughs> Esther. Well, I'm sick and tired of your... That's it. You're getting a time out. Ah, don't start with that again. I can't hear you. You're in a time out. You know, this reminds me of my very first expedition. We were going to cross a really dangerous swamp. Kind of like the Okapanoko. Wow, you made it across? Are you kidding? I was prepared to turn around at the very beginning, and that preparation saved my life. My sweet old grandmother gave me two words of advice when I was little. She said to me, she said, Get out of my yard, you mongrel! But I knew what she really meant was, always be prepared. <clears throat> Does anyone have change for the toll booth? Uh, I it looks kind of yucky. Yeah. You can't think about that. You're going to be the first guy in a cape to cross the Okopanoko Swamp. But my favorite superhero, the swoosh, was the first guy wearing a cape to cross it, like 10 years ago. Running from the law doesn't count. And besides, you're going to be the first little costume buddy to cross the Okopanoko Swamp with not only a fat dog, but Shh. a fat dog riding on a miniature pony. <laughs> Divide and conquer. Little costume, buddy. Little help here. Yeah, you know it. <gasps> <gasps> nice. Swamp mud. Yummy. Luckily, the dog was prepared for such a problem. Now, if you two will row, we'll be on our way. <laughs> What do you two kids say we take a break for lunch pretty soon? I'd love to. Where is lunch, by the way? On the camels. Uh, uh fat dog, I think we've lost our camels. That's no good. We're only halfway there. What are we going to eat? Uh, I think it's more a question of what's going to eat us. Like what? Like a giant crocodile? Oh, that giant crocodile. Dial's huge! Like 
hippos. And it looks like they're dancing. The dancing hippos. It's all right here in the adventurer's pamphlet. This marker points the way to the legendary lost temple of dancing hippos. No one has witnessed the beauty of the dancing hippos for thousands of years. Wow. I like dancing. We have to find the next marker so we can find the temple. But what about crossing the swamp? We're halfway there, remember? The dancing hippos. We'll be world renowned. We'll shake our group thing. It'll be the adventure of a lifetime. Costume, buddy. Oh, uh, I kind of had my heart set on crossing the Great Okapanoko and having a sandwich named after me. I'm a little disappointed, that's all. Hey, I found another marker. It's Nulungu, the mystical rhino who guards the dancing hippos. We're so close, I can almost smell those hippos. <laughs> Keep your eyes open for any sign of danger. It says here that those who look upon the dancing hippos will know joy, wisdom, and somewhat improved hand-eye coordination. Wow, can't beat that. Yeah, but if Nulungu finds the tracks of an intruder, he's not going to rest till he's hunted them down. So here, sweep up our tracks for us. Here, sweep up our tracks for us. Here, sweep up our... Oh, nuts. Go adventuring, meet interesting people, and sweep up after them. <laughs> Come on, Boronime. If Nolungu finds our tracks, he'll trample us for sure. So your job is really important. That's such a guy thing to say. Of course, sometimes sweeping up the tracks doesn't work. Sometimes Nolungu finds you anyway. And the only warning you ever get is the sound of his terrible footsteps shaking the earth. Kind of like that. Uh, do you think it's Nulungu? Nah, it's probably just Nulungu. Man, that thing's got to be huge! <laughs> Nulungu! That's Nulungu. You got me all worked up for that. Well, he's a lot tougher than he looks. Shoo! Shoo, you little thing! <laughs> yeah, a lot tougher. <laughs> What's that smell? Smells like... hippos. Sweaty, dancing hippos. Look! The Temple of the Dancing Hippos! I gotta go up. Huh? You gotta go? Mount I gotta go. Home of the fabled Golden Volcano God. Said to shower adventurers with riches beyond their dreams. Gold, precious gems, luxury appliances. Come to think of it, I really need a new toaster. Gentlemen? <clears throat> All right, gentlemen and lady. We have a volcano to climb. Hey, but wait. What about the temple and the hippos? It's right. Aren't we gonna? Oh, I don't believe this. Man, this bites big air. I'll ask the volcano god for a six slice extra wide slot toaster. No, no. Ah, uh, cappuccino espresso maker. No, wait. An entire state-of-the-art gourmet kitchen! <laughs> but don't hold back, fat dog. Good thinking, kid. He's a god. I've got to think bigger. It's just that every time we get close to something, fat dog goes and gets distracted by something else, you know? Oh heck. I'd settle for a couple of dancing hippos or a sandwich in my name. Hold on. I'm getting something on the old sonar. What is it? Don't know, but it's got a funky beat. <laughs> Looks like the natives are restless. Darling, turn off the radio so I can chat with a nice tourist. Gee, 
You're not exactly the kind of natives I expect. <laughs> well, it's hard to stay humble, darling, when you've got a volcano god showering you with riches. Oh, yes, life's been good to us natives. Best darn golfing in the world. <laughs> Too bad we have to leave. Egads, I forgot my clubs. Sorry, hon. Meet you at the bottom. I suggest you three leave as soon as you can. The volcano god has gotten into a bit of a mood, you see. He's got this silly idea about burying all of Neighborhood X and tons of burning ash. <laughs> Let him have his tantrum, I say. Never a better time to relocate to the Riviera of Neighborhood A+. Ciao. Hey, beach. Sounds interesting. All that sand and sun and splashy waves. I say we go for it. Oh, no. No way. We've come this far. We're going to finish something. I say we go on up this mountain and see what's going on. Hmm. All right. Forward, brave companions. I would be proud to lead the way. Well, it looks like today isn't going to be a total waste. After all, oh, I knew there was a catch. Just didn't think it was going to be me. I don't know, little costume buddy, but I think you're lucky to have a friend like Fat Dog. But I don't. They've got Fat Dog. The big guy's still not going to be happy. Maybe you'd like to get him a goldfish instead. Well, I don't know. What do you sacrifice to the volcano god who has everything? <laughs> oh. Sacrificed? Ha! Won't they be surprised when I... when I... when... Oh, boy. I give you luxury homes and high-definition televisions? And you bring me a four-legged deli snack? Well, that's gratitude for you. Hey, it's the thought that counts. Maybe you could return me for a credit. Oh, I hate it when a meal talks back. Honestly, I really don't think you people care anymore. We really oh, do absolutely. care. Absolutely, really, we're ever so grateful. <laughs> oh, fine. If it means that much to you, I'll take your stupid sacrifice. Hey, who's he calling stupid? But I'm still going to destroy everything. I'll lower him quickly, or I'll destroy one of you first. Well, don't you? No, 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 no. destroy him first. Yes, no, no, he's much better. Actually, it's not the name calling that bothers me as much as the molten lava. We've got to do something, Veronimi. Veronimi. What? Little beast! Looks like I gotta do something. Now hold on just a second! What? What now? As the, uh, as a member of the Neighborhood X Geological Police, yeah, police, I'm gonna have to see a permit to commit a large scale volcanic catastrophe. My little costume buddy's got him now. Well, I, I didn't. I mean, no one. Ah, here it is. Really? You have one of those? Oh, what a ripoff. I'm a god. I have one of everything. Ah, let's see. What does it say? One large scale volcanic catastrophe. Reason natives fail to remember my birthday. That's what this is all about? They forgot your birthday? It's terrible, isn't it? Not a present, not a card, nothing. You natives are lame. <laughs> it completely slipped our minds. Good thing I got here just in time. Wait a minute. What do you mean? Well, I'm from the birthdayogram people. I thought you were from the geological police. That's sort of a day job, but I really want to sing. Didn't the natives tell you? They hired me to do your birthday song. Well, no, I, I, I mean, <laughs> oh, you guys. Uh, well, bring them up. All is forgiven. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. There's a guy that I know of. A 
up high on I gotta go a, a little short on hospitality, but he's loaded with personality. The natives were a wee bit slack, so now he's gonna blow his stack. Everybody forgot his special day, and now he's gonna make the whole neighborhood pay. Hey! Should be nice if you change your mind. Take the heat off my fat dog behind. So happy, happy birthday, birthday, you, you god like guy. guy. Happy birthday, don't, don't ask us why. Please don't destroy our neighborhood. neighborhood. And, and if, if you, you like that, go, go, that'd be good. That was the worst thing I ever heard. Lower them back in. All is not forgiven. Nice try, kid. Hey. I thought it was pretty good, considering we never have time to practice. What? No time to practice? Practice is vital. Why, without all my years of practice, I'd still just be a volcanic pimple. But look at me today. I can destroy entire neighborhoods. Well, you did show a lot of heart, young man. I suppose that counts for something. Oh, all right. I was never any good at being a vengeful god anyway. I'll let the dog go and agree not to destroy Neighborhood X. Yay! But you have to promise to come back for my birthday next year. And please, practice a little, will you? You got it. It's a deal. A little help here? Yeah, a little hey. help. See you guys later. Well, we climbed to the top of a volcano, met a volcano god, and saved Neighborhood X. Huh, that was a good day's exploring, if I do say so myself. Yeah, all in all, not a bad day. What are you gonna do now? Well, I thought I'd get back to my trumpet practice. Glad to hear it, kid. Music to my ears. Well, maybe not music, but then again, you've gotta start somewhere. <laughs> 